Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another lesson for July 18th, 2021. I hope you all are doing amazing today. So the person for our lesson today is Miss Queen Esther. As you know, in the past, we've learned about different things that we can work into our lives in our everyday life. We've learned about respect and controlling our emotions and things like that. So this time we are going to be learning about different people in the Bible. And to start off that, we are going to be learning about Queen Esther. So let's start the lesson with a prayer, and then we'll jump right into learning about the Queen Esther. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your guidance, and we thank you for your protection. And we thank you, God, that you have kept us healthy and strong. Now, as we go on with the lesson today, we pray that we learn something new about Queen Esther. And we love you, and we praise you, and we glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. So the Bible verse that ties into the lesson about Queen Esther is... Joshua chapter one, verse nine. And it says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I thought there was a pretty neat Bible verse to go on with the theme of Miss Esther. So now we're going to watch a quick movie to introduce Esther and get a little bit of background. In a beautiful palace, King Xerxes sat on his throne and governed over many provinces across the globe. One day, he decided to demonstrate his great power and wealth by holding a huge banquet for all the important men in his kingdom. Vashti, the queen, also held a banquet for the woman. King Xerxes called her to come to see him because he wanted all his guests to see her beauty and admire her. But she refused to come before him and she did not want to answer the call. This greatly angered the king, who decided to look for a new queen to take Vashti's throne. When the news went out across all the provinces that the king was looking for a woman to become a new queen, Mordecai, Esther's adoptive father, said, Esther, this is your opportunity. You could be the queen. She was surprised, and for a short time, she thought that she couldn't win the crown. But Mordecai encouraged her, and so they entered the competition. Esther spent one year preparing along with many other young women, going through a very rigorous process where she learned how to dress, walk, eat, and even bathe in perfumed water like a queen of the provinces. Although there were many contestants for the crown, the favor of God was upon Esther, and King Xerxes chose her as the new queen of the Persian Empire because of her great beauty and special grace. After some time, when Haman, one of the most powerful men and closest friends of King Xerxes, realized that Mordecai didn't bow down before him and said he was a Jew, he planned to destroy the entire people of Israel. When Esther realized this and that the king had given Haman the freedom to do whatever he wanted, she proclaimed a three-day fast for all the people so that they could seek the presence of God in prayer and find favor before King Xerxes. After three days, Esther came before the king. Still astounded by her beauty, he asked, What do you want me to do for you, Esther? Without thinking twice, she asked him to protect her people Israel, to whom she belonged. And when the king realized that Haman had wanted to destroy them, he was very angry and commanded him to be removed from the kingdom. So God, through Esther, saved all the Jews, and he even crowned her with honor, respect, and love. Okay, my friends. So I thought there was a very neat video for us to watch to introduce Miss Esther. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's not really one of them. 
second. Okay, friends. So let's go ahead and go into the questions for the lesson. So our first question is, oh my goodness. That's not what's supposed to happen. What does Esther teach us and show us? So Esther teaches us the right way to fight. She showed us not to fight in anger or be dependent on our own strength. So Esther, through God, asked the king to spare her people and save them so they wouldn't get hurt just because of their religious beliefs. So they believed something different than the king. And Esther made sure that her people were safe from the king. Being Christians, we should take the time to listen to God and be dependent on him. When we're dependent on God, it shows us that, well, it shows God that he can help us through anything and that we can work through stuff with him. So let's ask ourselves, what was God's plan for Esther? God's plan for Esther was to teach obedience. He, when God asked Esther to go to the king and ask for the Jewish people, get hurt she was scared god covered esther and protected her like she does us so let's ask ourselves why should we follow god's instructions we should follow god's instructions because that will put us on the right path to heaven so when we follow god's instructions he can make sure that we cannot do bad things so when we are following his instructions and we're following what he tells us to do we can get on the straight path of righteousness or the path to heaven. So let's do a quick lesson recap. So the lesson for today, we learned that Esther was a brave queen who followed God's directions to save God's people. We also learned that Esther taught us not to solve problems angrily, but instead to be selfless and to be dependent on God for his plans not our own plans, but God's plans, because God's plans are the right plans. And our next point is that being obedient for God can give us his protection. God will always protect us, especially if we follow his instructions and if we are super duper duper obedient to him. Our next point is to do not be, oh my goodness, do not be scared because God is always with us. God will always cover us and he will make sure that we stay safe. And our last point is God's plan is the best plan. Not our own plan, but God's plan because it can get us on the path of righteousness. Okay. So let's go ahead and close out with prayer. Super quick lesson. I hope you all enjoyed learning about Esther. So let's pray the Lord's Prayer on the screen so you can pray it with me like we do every time we do our lesson let's pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, friends, I hope you all enjoyed about learning Esther today. And I hope you all are super excited to learn about our next Bible character for next week. I love you, friends, and you have an amazing week. Bye-bye.